Hey friends, I am Missy. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today and for watching this video. I really appreciate it. We are doing some home decor thrift shopping today for spring. We're actually going to go to three stores. At the end of this video, I will share my haul with you so you won't want to miss that. And then come back tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be sharing my first decorate with me video for spring. It will be in the kitchen and I will be styling at least two of the items that you will see me pick up in today's video that I share in the haul. So we have lots to get to today and I'm really looking forward to it. In every video this year, we are doing a commenter shout out. And in this video, our commenter shout out goes to Lisa Rossiter. I hope I am saying that correctly. Love the basket with chickens. I think the chickens will transition to summer easier than the bunnies. And I definitely agree. I am so excited to show you my kitchen tomorrow with the chicken theme. We do have our beautiful baby chicks. If you do not follow me on Instagram, check me out there at Ohio Vintage Home. I have shared some pictures of them. So really excited excited for everything coming up. This right here was a great find for $2.50. And then these right here I was showing you were very heavy. These were very heavy, heavy wooden pieces. I would have grabbed them, but I wasn't really sure where I would put them at. And they were $5. And then these right here, look at how big those are. I do not think I have ever seen them that big. These were $9. Super fun to see. This right here I was checking out pretty closely because I am looking for either a crochet or a lace round tablecloth. This unfortunately was an afghan, very pretty though for $4. Here is another nice set of Corning, 22 pieces for $11. This is actually the same thrift store where I bought some Corning ware a couple of weeks back that I absolutely love. Again, you will see the cups or mugs that go with that set coming up tomorrow in my kitchen video. I believe it is in the pattern Wild Blossoms. If it's not Wild Blossoms, I'll go ahead and put up here on the screen which one it is. Here is some more cute little pieces from Japan. 50 cents there, so a really good price. Did anybody become a mom in 1986? If you did, let me know down in the comments below. I was really, really drawn to this fabric right here. Very springy. The colors are absolutely perfect for my kitchen with those greens and browns and whites and even the black speckled in there. I did ultimately decide to leave it because I just do not have time right now with everything else going on to add in another project, but it was really, really pretty. Thank you. 
These six yellow placemats right here for $3.50, I debated about as well. They seemed very thin though, but they were a nice big size. This right here, round tablecloths, not finding any today because there were zero. This right here would work for me if it was round. That is kind of one of the ideas that I'm thinking with the lace. The other one would be crochet. Unfortunately, none here today. Now here we are in Goodwill and of course, the the first thing that I pick up are these beautiful little kitties for 99 cents. And then I did think this popcorn tin was really, really pretty. It has a cat on there as well. Now I thought if you were doing like some spring pinks and yellows, this would be perfect for your decor. I think there it said on the bottom it was 1989. This doesn't go with the colors in my house, but I thought it was a really fun find. This glass pumpkin right here for $4.99 was also a really fun find. Not in season, but perfect. This little guy right here might be my regret of the day. I looked at this and looked at this. I thought it was such a unique shape and just so pretty for only 99 cents. Wouldn't that be beautiful with just one stem, like one flower or two in there in your window in your kitchen? But I passed it up and then I had planned to maybe go back and get it and then I completely forgot. Do you guys ever do that when you are thrifting or do you go ahead and just put everything in your cart and then go from there at the end? I may have have to start doing that so I do not forget to go back and kind of look at things that I had my eye on. Cute little glass there from Libby. Okay we are now in the antique store that I stopped in for just a few minutes and I was showing you here. Do you remember these? these toys that you used to get from McDonald's. I remember these so much. My husband and I talk about them all of the time. We've also talked about them with our son. So really fun to see them sitting there. And then these carrot salt and pepper shakers were something I thought about and thought about as well. They do say Japan there on the bottom and they were only $4 for the set. I have seen several glasses like this, not with this pattern, but these glasses like this in different antique stores, but I have never seen one in this pattern. And then I had to get a chuckle right here because <laughs> that one chicken or rooster right there doesn't look like he's doing too good. But I thought this was cute. It was $8 for this, but again, it was a pattern on one of those glasses that I had not seen. But stick around, coming up right after this item right here, we're going to be jumping into the haul and you definitely don't wanna miss it. Let's go ahead now and jump right into the haul of all of the goodies I picked up today. And be sure to come back tomorrow at 5 p.m. here on the channel. Subscribe today if you have not yet because we will be doing a full decorate with me for spring right here in the kitchen. And I will be styling at least two of these pieces for you tomorrow. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Stick with us. Would love, love, love to have you. The first thing that I have here, I probably won't use until fall. Could not pass it up for just $2.50. And it is this 
I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this. I will probably pronounce it wrong. Kakuna, Kakana Club, Dairy Company, Wisconsin. It spreads like butter, copyright 1933. Has the lid on it and everything in excellent condition. And for only $2.50, after looking these up online, I got such a steal. So I'm really excited about finding this piece. Here is the tag on top that says the $2.50. Again, it is in excellent shape. A lot of times you will see these and they do not have their lids or anything like that, this one does, and it is just in excellent, excellent shape. And I love bringing in this color of blue for fall, so I think I will put this one back and bring it out with some of my fall scrap. I think it's the blue village pattern that I used last year for fall, and this will look really perfect along with that. I did also pop into Goodwill and I got two things there and the first thing that I got was this book and I grabbed this book because I thought it was just funny. It just really made me laugh and it is this book right here in this beautiful green color that says gardening without work and there was just something about that title in the front of this book that just really made me smile and so I wanted to grab it. I'm probably going to use this in one of my baskets over in my entryway for spring so stay tuned for that decorate with me video as well. I'll have a whole little series coming out for you. This was $1.49 right there. I hate that they put the sticker right there, but I'll have to be really careful to get that off of there. But look at that darling artwork. Isn't that really, really cute? I just thought it was funny. And then the copyright on this on the inside. No, six printing. So this was October of 71. There's the date right there, 1971. Also at Goodwill, this was out of season, but I wanted to go ahead and get it when I saw it because if you wait until fall, you probably will not see it. So I wanted to go ahead and grab this beautiful glass pumpkin and it was $4.99. There we go. No chips or anything like that. I have so many ideas of how I want to use this for fall. It is a substantial piece, really good size, and I'm thinking for fall I could put a flameless candle in here, I could put candy in here, I could use this for my coffee canister. The next couple of things I have here I actually got at an antique shop, but I got a really good price on all of these and I'm really excited. So the first things here are some chicken napkin holders, napkin rings, and I have them like this because this is how I am styling them in my kitchen, and you will see that tomorrow. So I got all four of these vintage napkin rings that are these leghorn chickens for $5, and they are gorgeous. They go so well. They are adorable. Look at that. I don't see any markings necessarily on the bottom. Real marking on there. I don't see anything oh, on the back. I'm trying to be careful here because I do have them on this twine. And then I could not pass up this adorable little golden book. And I got this for $4. And it is baby farm animals. How cute is this? And then it does have the little chicks down here, but really, is there anything cuter than a little baby animal? Absolutely adorable. It is in really good shape right there. Let me go ahead and open this up here and see what year. Printed in the United States of America, first Random House Edition 2003. Let me know your favorite item in today's haul. I would love to hear. How do you decorate for spring? I would also love to hear that down below. Do you do a theme, flowers, gardening, chickens, bunnies, or do you just mix it all together? Let me know down in the comments. I will see you down there to chat with you and back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. for my kitchen decorate with me video for spring. Take care. Love you all.